Well, the third and, option uh, would be unfortunate hard. aspect of that with like the algorithms, like no one really, I haven't seen anyone ever talk about this. It's quite unfortunate is because with books, everyone talks about like movies because movies are important, shows are important, all this stuff is important. But books, books have influenced me so much and their generations that grow up, you know, mm -hmm. reading books, listening to books. No one ever mentions the same stuff that's happened in media is happening with books too. Like Amazon right now is the only, it's the leading um, online place to shop for books by it's the margins are massive. There's no competitor even close to Amazon right now uh, with books, whether that be paperbacks, hardcovers, ebooks, audiobooks. Amazon dominates the market. And the same stuff that's been happening with shows and movies has been happening with books too, but no one covers it because it's not quite as mainstream compared to other stuff. It happened in like 2012 and no one gave a crap. And then no they quietly cares. just yeah. dominate and another market and another market and they just keep going, growing. Yeah. And until there's an actual like competitor to Amazon, which I don't see happening anytime soon, uh, it's in it's it's awful because no one sees I try to cover as much as I can, but I never see anyone else talking about what they're doing because Amazon, the algorithms, right? They've got their sales rankings and everything on Amazon is decided by sales rankings, pretty much how they boost stuff. And they anytime there's certain books from certain publishers which are obviously what can lead in synopsis cover oh trans autistic whatever pushing certain messages the same messages we see in movies and shows and those books are boosted the same way on amazon yep. and the numbers are fudged the same way and it's just horrifying to see uh that there's been mm -hmm. we've seen like people come together to stop things like rings of power to protest it i haven't seen any movement like that with books yet and the stuff has been very Minimal. I just like to more attention with that needs to be seen. I'm hoping that you got to you got to lead the way, man, because because no one's going to do it for us. Like the, if one exactly. thing, you know, Jeremy and, and I, Gary and Rip and all these guys have shown me is like it's up to us. Yeah, man. nobody's pushing. It's up shit. to us. It's, it's, right. it's in our hands, man. It, the ball's in our court. Look at look at the growth on this side. You know, like we're 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 making it happen little by little. We're finding new creatives. We're we are the, the counterculture. We all the alternative. We have to do it. So if you're if books is yeah. your thing, Caleb, man, oh, yeah. spearhead that shit, bro. Don't 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 wait. Don't wait because the longer you wait, the, the more ground you guys lose. And you, you've already seen the results of that in many industries. So you got to do it yourself. I think Jeremy was going to say something. Oh, no. What I was going to say was, uh, I mean, bo the book side of things is not something a lot of people in our sphere are are covering so that gives you a perfect opportunity to kind of be that voice to kind of yeah. break into that and highlight that because that's not typically something that a lot of people in our sphere some will and i'm sure what will happen is if you start talking about it more and start highlighting that problem more then more people you're going to find out that are in our side of the internet are probably going to be like oh yeah i noticed that or i've got more to say about that so that's how it starts they're again, out there yeah go back to when again yeah. i always do this but like I was nothing just like five years ago. No one was watching my shit. Nobody knew who I was. And I started bitching about The Last Jedi. And <laughs> I got the marble. Happening, you know, that's all it was. Well, yeah, was that's it? how I that's how I found that's how I found you guys. That's actually. how I found you. That's how I got you. <laughs> I You're told like, you that. I mean, I'm all looking you. for for someone who was griping one way or another about something we loved at some point or another. You guys covered a lot of ground and here we are. Yeah. I had to go to the yeah. sixth page searching for Last of Us 2 reviews until I finally found Ryan Kennel. Page oh, wow. six. That's about right. I mean, you saw the Game game Awards gave The Last of Us Part 2 Game of the Year that year. Um, just absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense.